Greetings, everyone. This is First and Twenty Seven Fifty Three with the next episode of Geopolitical Simulator Four: uh, Power and Revolution, North Korea Free, and Democratic North Korea. And did the election start yet? Program. We're not in the election campaign period yet. All right. So the elections are for, I think, November six, two thousand sixteen. They're coming up. We have an opposition uh, party in North Korea. We're going to run against them. I have a uh, elaborate uh, pro-worker, pro-communist uh, platform planned out here. To try to win over the uh, party as well as the people. Uh, party politics is big when you do the campaign mode. From what I've come to see, uh, it doesn't show you the program. Oh, there it is. Yeah, program popularity. That has to do with how well it aligns with the party almost, I think. Um, so, you know, if you want a good score there, that's really, that's usually where I get beat. I usually have, you know, much better popularity rating. Uh, I think I did get beat in one of the debates recently. What was that? I forgot which. Oh, Angola. I don't know if you guys have seen the end of Angola yet, but I got beat out in the debate. I don't know how that, I got beat out in the debate and with the, uh, program popularity. So, I did order up a national poll right last episode, and I forgot to actually look at it. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Is it, did I do another one? Or no? I don't think I did a second national poll. No, where is it? I don't know where it's under. It's not under this. It's not under election, that's for sure. Not under head of state. Is it under country? I think it's under political parties. Yes. I always forget this one. No. Wait. No, where is it? That's our budget. Political parties. I don't remember where I... Um, do the uh, polling. My party. I don't know where I do the polling. I know I've done it. That's in there somewhere. It's kind of late Sunday night, and I'm kind of out of it. But I'm just playing this anyways because I'm bored. And I don't remember. I guess I'm. Yeah. I don't remember where that is. I was just doing it all last episode. I know that. Candidates. It's under communications, I thought. I thought it was under here. It looks like it's disappeared. Maybe it disappears during the election when... I don't know. What the heck? I could have sworn it was underneath there. Anyways... Let's look at the economy. We are at 3.8 inflation. No! Growth is at 8.8. .8. Growth looks great. Uh, 7.16 unemployment. Interest rates up again. Whole point. 8%. Stop this crazy inflation. It's not crazy, but. Once, sometimes when inflation starts going the wrong way, it's hard to stop it. So, I had a lot of comments on the video, uh, videos past couple uh, days. Uh, some people want me to build more infrastructure, which I think I will add to my campaign promises. Uh, probably going to try to do some high-speed railroads, I guess. Let's see here. Look at my, whoa, that's all I'm looking for. Oh, look at my infrastructure. My infrastructure in North Korea. Here we get. Whoa, it's too far. Um, that is a naval base. I want to find a port. I might not have any ports. They have a port. A lot of freight moving in and out. I feel like maybe I should build a port. How much would a port cost? Let's check this out. A port costs 
six hundred fifty million dollars. That's a negative. We don't have six hundred fifty million dollars, I don't think, or do we? We do, but that's a lot. Oh, we almost have a billion dollars. Uh, I want to pay off the debt. I'm always addicted to paying off debt. You know, that's an answer to that question. Uh, somebody made a comment that I never do anything to to improve the economy, and I just uh, sorry I didn't look at the names before this video. Um, I just uh, do things to supplement or modify the economy. Uh, I guess because I am in this mindset of I want to <laughs> I want to pay down this debt and eliminate eliminate all the debt. And it's always in my head, when I eliminate the debt, that's what I'm going to spend. I want to see, first of all, if they'll say, like, surplus or something like that. They probably sure they will. But I want to see it. And then I want to actually use that surplus to buy and improve. But I never actually get to the point. I've never actually fully paid off debt in this game. So, I'm still pushing for that as far as a uh, goal. Um, South Korea... Yeah, we're, it's going to be a while before we move on to South Korea. There's also another push for me to um, eliminate the company taxes. I don't understand how there are, everything is nationalized. What, are there really companies here? I'm going to... Uh, I will eliminate the debt. Or I will eliminate... Uh, or I will not eliminate. I will cut down on some of the uh, company taxes. That is part of my plan. Authoritarian. I wonder if I get negative points for meeting with an authoritarian government as an authoritarian government. Closing the Olympic ceremonies. Sour grapes. Sporting defeat. Oh man. The country did not shine. We didn't win any medals. This is a terrible disappointment. Regression is total. We hit rock bottom. Our athletes are pitiful. Cover my eyes. Oh wow, this is really bad. I never... Everything has been implemented in the country to prepare for the national Good. National holiday might bring my uh, popularity back up. Three point popularity loss on the, well, espionage, I guess. And um, I don't know what's going on with espionage. Uh, espionage and the sporting defeats. I should have fully funded everything, right? Yeah, everything is fully funded. How am I having any type of negative espionage? I don't know how that happened. Maybe I just need more agents. That might be a possibility. What do we have here? Economy threatens our course of action. With all due respect to Mr. President, how can you keep... How can you keep Kim in government? Oh, this is about the uh, economic minister. Greater funding. Education is suffering. Lack of materials, etc., etc. The theory that says if E1 doesn't like E2 and E2 okay, doesn't like South E2... Okay, South African the United e Workers Party. We are going to approach them and try to give them as much money as possible. Good morning! I didn't come empty-handed. In fact, I wanted you to see in order to submit to you this economic... All right, check this out. Natural gas. A sale. A natural gas sale. They want to buy our natural gas. We are not producing at a surplus, though. So that's a negative. No dice there, Ecuador. Let's see if they have any food I could buy at a discount. If I buy food at a discount, I think that should help. We don't need that food. I hope that should help our, uh, one, our starvation situation. Starvation situation. Or, um, inflation. Inflation situation. And they don't have, these are all things that we have surpluses in. So, this is no good. They've got nothing that we want to buy. Alright, see you later, Ecuador. You are as a worthless, worthless meeting. Pointless meeting. Alright, so infrastructure production is definitely going to be one of the uh, things on the itinerary here. Or not the itinerary, the uh, agenda for my uh, campaign. Oh, look at that billion dollar excess. I am making a lot of money. North Korea is starting to make a lot of money. So, the argument is I should cut company taxes. Uh, I think I will do that, but I think I'm gonna wait till the campaign is over to cut the company taxes, because there is a negative hit to popularity when you do that in North Korea. So I'm gonna wait on that one. I also would like to um, 
capitalize the number of industries. I don't know what that's going to do. So I'm actually going to campaign first. The election campaign has officially begun. All candidates are now known. Because it now is the election campaign. So now that it is the election campaign, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get through the campaign. And then afterwards, we'll test out some things like uh, privatizing certain industries and cutting company taxes and building up infrastructure. We'll have to uh, meet all the promises that we make in this campaign. Uh, first thing I'm going to do in the campaign, election fraud, that would be great. No, campaign promises, we're going to have to get a bunch of those. Um, but I wanted to... Let's go to political parties. Launch fundraising. There we go. I wanted to do this. So, fundraising during the last campaign. Funds raised during the last campaign were um, about a million. The cost is going to be 949. I think I did this uh, not during an election period. So hopefully during the election period, we'll get a big boost to our campaign here. And that is launched officially. Now it's time to make some campaign provinces. Now how many provinces do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. It should tell me somewhere actually. Why am I doing this? We actually have 10 regions and 15 provinces to make. We should probably hit every region, I think. I'm thinking we should have every region. So that's going to be part of the campaign strategy. Also. Here's our program. Let's get into it here. Okay, we're going to want to... We have $17 million. We've got to make 15 promises. Let's do this at a performance hall. And I don't know. I'm assuming one of these is going in somewhere. Confirm. Saturday. And we have to make our first promise which I was going to actually try to get a lot of people's advice on what to do, but I guess I'm not going to wait that long. So, job seekers. Uh, pension funds is uh, one we can do right off the bat. No. Housing subsidies. Housing subsidies is always a good one. And I think I maxed out what the uh, possible housing subsidies could be as far as um, having my party agree with it we're going to increase our housing subsidies to yeah, 16 make the promise yeah that's pretty popular pretty popular pretty cheap and that gives us a 27 point bump in our popularity Fantastic. That's always a good one. Housing, housing subsidies just seems to be a good one all the time. I have to make more campaign promises. Job seekers is another one that we're going to go for. Uh, this seems to be one that... Allowance for job seekers. We're going to crank this up. I'm making a, a billion... Let's crank it up to 80. We gotta save some for the next election. Performance Hall. Let's do that in another one of those Pyongyang regions. And we'll do that on Sunday, followed up with another big one. Alright, there we go. Congratulations. Your campaign agenda is excellent and caters to the entire electorate. I'm sure we'll be getting a lot of votes. Sounds good. Seems like we're uh, doing well with this election to start. 51. Nice. That was a nice bump, that job seekers. That was about a 24-point bump to our program popularity. Uh, this looks terrific. Okay, that other guy is in second place. We know that. I think our program looks terrific right now I want the election to happen today can we all vote right now please so 
So where have I been doing that? That one I think I hit up. Did I hit up that one? I hit up that one. So this province right here. Yang Yang Du. Probably a good one. Hang Myung. I can't say it all. I can't say these province names. I apologize. So far, the campaign looks good. Let's speed. Uh, do I want to speed things up? How's my opponent doing in his campaign? He has not made any promises, has not had any rallies. I might save money for now. He's going to probably campaign on a few things. Family allowances might be another one. The worker week. Cutting sales tax is a possibility. Pension fund. You know what I should do in the meantime? Meet with some people, with some association leaders. I think this would be the best strategy of the day here. Let's start meeting with a bunch of them. To lower that. Anti-racist does not like me. Ecologist, I think, likes me. That's a big bump. I think I already got him to uh, support me, though. Senior citizens. Do I need them? No, yeah, I do need them. Women. I need them. Four million. Senior citizens, 95. Handicap, 750. Pacifist Union. Pacifist Union? Seems to like me. Let's get a boost from them. Alright, appearance at the National Festival. What about the Union? There's only one Union and he does not like me. Okay, South I'm African Workers Party. How much would this aid amount to? Fire that up. Thanks. Your donation will contribute to our struggle. Okay, let's change power there, hopefully. We did support a group in Japan, right? They're still conservative rightists. Alright, so the election seems like it's off to a good start, the election campaign. We are in mid-September. Again, the economy seems like it's doing pretty good. Let's meet with this guy. I'd be happy to. No. Hmm. Yeah. Well. Wow. Let's see if I give him a national huh. medal. If you want to, say, could we exchange it for a small check? No. <laughs> Basically, asking for a bribe. Okay. Mm hmm. Be more precise. What amount are you thinking of exactly? Twenty-seven thousand. That's not bad. Mm hmm. Thank you. Thanks. Rest assured, I won't forget this small gesture. Very good. Now you're very popular on my side now. Encourage your people to vote for Don't panic. I'll look into it. Very good. Okay, we won over that group. All right, yeah, I used to not bribe that much. Um, but since the full-on corrupt Barbados, I've been bribing a lot more. I guess, you know... I don't know. I guess if you bribe the wrong person, here we go. I definitely don't need to bribe him. Let's get some support there. We should have the associations on our side here. Ecologist group. <sighs> That's. Speak highly, mate. Okay. Don't panic. Okay, looks like we're doing good. And mid-September, I'm going to put a uh, cut in here. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next episode.